of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, covered as a trap mail, murderous assassins, harassment of blackmail. I think I made it in the game. Yo guys, what is going on? Tim Pursuit and in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about my top 10 favourite and most useful keyboard shortcuts to use in Photoshop. They're really easy, a lot of you guys have been asking how to use uh, shortcuts and stuff like that, so today I'll be showing you guys how to do it. So if you've not already, make sure you smash the like button, can we hit 100 likes on this video, subscribe if you're new, and with that all being said, let's get into the video. So guys, I will be showing you how to do the shortcuts over to the top of this YouTube banner so it's going to be very easy um, a lot of them are very easy but they're very useful so the first one we're going to quickly do is control D so um, basically once you've um, pressed control and clicked and you get this selection or say if you want to select something and use this right here you guys might not know how to get rid of it so all you have to breath press is control D and it just deselects it so it's very simple and easy but it is very useful to do so the next one we're gonna do guys is so once you've created a new layer and all you've got to do is go to a selection tool and basically it's alt backspace and this will basically fill it in so as I said alt and backspace and it does fill in the um, what is selected so say if you guys want to make a background all you've got to do is do that. I'll just show you guys again. So um, let's just get around get, um, down near the bottom. So add a new layer. Um, it's pr probably a bad color to use to be honest, but alt backspace and it does fill in the background and it is really cool. So now let's move on to the next one. So guys, the next shortcut that we will be using is Control T. Now this one's very, very useful as well. Um, it's many of you guys may already know this one, but basically it just lets you transform, move around, and change what the text looks like. So you just press Control T on that layer. So once you've clicked on it, so I'll be doing it on official channel of Control T, and then this will pop up. You can move it around like so you can make it bigger and all that type of stuff and then just to get rid of it many of you might not know you can either press the check mark at the top or press enter and then that will just um, put it where it is so guys the next one we will be doing it's very simple a lot of you guys probably already know this one it's just a really simple one control alt z and it moves it back a place and then if you want to redo what you've just done press control z and it'll put it back where it was so that's another very simple one so the next one we will be doing guys is control U and this one's very very good because a lot of you guys have been asking how to do it so basically hopefully this will work um, but all you've got to do is click on the layer that you want to change the color of is press control U and then this will pop up and this is just changing the color of that particular layer yep as you can see it does change the color that's all you've got to do and then obviously you can bring up the sat saturation and you can make it lighter or darker but if you guys want to change the colour of the whole thing itself you can either click down here and go to hue and saturation and then do it or if you've got this adjustments you can click here hue and saturation and change the colour of everything so that's it for that so now we are going to move over to control i to invert the text or the background or anything like that so we're gonna basically invert means it'll just flip it so say if it's black and you press control i it'll flip it to white so i'll just try and find a text for you guys i think this will work so i'm doing it on the lion x nx um, text right now if you press ctrl i um, it will invert it but it's right now it's uh, actually black but because it's got all the layers on it um, you can't tell but basically it does invert it and change the color of what the text actually is or the background so guys the next one we're gonna go with is ctrl j now ctrl j is used to duplicate um, a layer so let's just try and have a look which one to use so say if we wanted to duplicate the official channel of text all you've got to do is go to the layer and press ctrl j and as you can see there's another one of it and then if you just scroll in and you move it you've got another one right here and then just to get rid of it just press delete so that's very very good if you want if you're creating like patterns and stuff and you want more then you can just press ctrl j or guys is another way to duplicate things and it's just by holding alt and then you, as you can see the cursor it's now got black and then it's got a white one behind it so let's just do that again and then all you've got to do is click and drag it and then you've got another one 
So that's very, very simple and easy to do. So now let's move on to the next one. So guys, the next one we're going to be doing is control F. So basically, um, all you guys have to do, so I'm just going to do it on this text right here, official channel of. So I'm just going to rasterize it and then press control J to duplicate it. And basically, what Control F does is do um, it like redoes what you've just done, like the filter or the effects you've added. So, say if I go to filter and then I go to something like motion blur, I'll just make it a bit smaller. So something like that. So you've got that effect. But if you don't like it and you want it to be like more more blurred out, all you got to, have to do is press Control F again. And it will duplicate it or like, like, I don't know, double the motion blur or whatever you want to do. And you can just do this as many times as you want. So that's a really cool effect to do, um, control F. So now let's move on to the next one. So guys, the next one that I will be talking about is control all right clicking. And then basically guys, you're probably wondering what this is. It's basically just making the brush bigger and smaller. Now this is a very, very useful one to do. You don't actually have to go up to the top and then move it around. All you've got to do is press control all right click and then you can make it bigger or smaller. So that's very useful. So a lot of you guys actually have been asking how to do this one. And as you can see, you can make it bigger click and then it makes it even bigger so it's really really cool guys so now let's move on to the next one so guys the next one well basically the next two that we'll be doing is control G and then control E so control G is what basically just grouping some layers so if I want to group these three over here just click on them all and um, basically what I just did there is clicked on this one hold shift click on that one and it does them all then press control G and it groups them all and um, what you can do if you want to merge them all together so it's all one layer you can press ctrl E and then they're all together but as you can see because you've merged them all the um, layer styles have changed um, so that doesn't really work you can need to make sure that the things that you're grouping and merging together are like all um, they're all, they, they all have like the same layer style but as you can see some was over, overlay some was color dodge and so if you now if you change this color dodge or something like that it just doesn't work so you want to make sure that the things you're grouping or merging together are all the same layer style so guys that is actually going to be it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure you smash the like button come and hit 100 likes uh, if you guys did enjoy and also smash uh, the subscribe button if you haven't already share the video comment down below what you want to see in my next video thanks so much for the support guys it really has been like you guys have been like doing so much support on my channel even on twitter sharing all that type of stuff but if you guys don't know already i did get my results today for my gcses and they did go very well so if you guys want if if you guys want to see how they, i did do make sure you to follow me on twitter at timpers hd to keep up to date with when I'm uploading just random stuff and also my streams and all that type of stuff so guys I hope you did enjoy and I will see you in the next video